Let him have it, Mac. Sonic Frontiers is doing a lot of new things for the entirety of the franchise, and one of those things is changing the entire format of the super form. Since what feels like to be the beginning of time, Sonic the Hedgehog has only accessed this super form in dire circumstances, and of recently, he's been allowed to use it if the player wants him to, like if you collect enough red rings or pay for DLC or what have you. But overall, the very nature of the super form is that it's kind of like a last resort, meaning that Sonic needs this form in order to win or beat his opponent. And that much has not changed here in Sonic Frontiers, but it's about the level of difficulty that this game provides that Sonic is actually going up against. If you think back to previous Sonic titles where the Super Form was actually an essential part of the story, it was only there for just a few moments, making it all the more climactic. You see, when Super Sonic showed up, it was a climactic moment and he was absolutely necessary in order to overcome the obstacle presented in front of Sonic. No matter if it was Dark Gaia, Perfect Chaos, or even the Final Hazard himself, this was something that Sonic needed to do. He couldn't beat him in base form, at least in the first encounter. But here with Sonic Frontiers, at first glance, that might not seem to be true. However, it is. You see, my first initial thought when I saw that Super Sonic was going to be in this game at the Tokyo Game Show trailer was that there's something greater behind this form. Super Sonic is no longer Sonic's highest form, and it may continue to be that way going forward. Now this is really important because it changes the very nature of how the super form is going to be presented going forward for not just this game, but perhaps the entirety of the franchise. Okay, but let's backtrack for a second before I get into that any further. So, as I said earlier, Super Sonic was needed to fight these giant monsters in his initial fight against them. Let's take a look at Perfect Chaos here as an example. So in the game Sonic Adventure 1, Super Sonic was absolutely necessary to take down this giant behemoth of a monster, but going forward in Sonic Generations, base form Sonic is able to do exactly that. All this means is that Sonic the Hedgehog can get stronger. He even makes this clearer in Sonic Forces in his first bout against Infinite, where he says, unlike mechs, I can grow. I get more powerful every second. Using this information, we're able to determine two things. One is that Super Sonic was not needed for the most recent games because Sonic was more than capable of being able to take down the opponents in front of him without using any extra techniques. Which is really a fair assessment because if you figure that base form Sonic can take down Perfect Chaos, which is using all of the negative energy of the seven Chaos Zones, by the way, he should be able to defeat characters who maybe not are as strong as Perfect Chaos. The second thing we're able to determine is that not only base Sonic got stronger, but Super Sonic as well. Which means that the Super Sonic presented in games like Sonic Unleashed, Generations, or the Adventure games don't even touch the power level that Super Sonic has here in Sonic Frontiers. So what does this mean exactly? Why is it important that Super Sonic got stronger? I'ma tell you why. Okay, so Sonic Frontiers is going to have bosses in the game that regular form Sonic, base form Sonic, is unable to even scratch. Which means even monsters like Perfect Chaos don't even stand a chance going toe to toe against them. These are bosses that are only possible with beating with the power of Super Sonic. And with Sega showcasing Super Sonic in a trailer, even before the game even hits a month before launch, tells us two things. One is that Super Sonic is no longer going to be Sonic's final form. And two, we're gonna be seeing a lot of Super Sonic in this game. For every one of these giant titan-sized boss battles, Super Sonic is going to be more than necessary. Sonic quite literally has no chance of winning without this form. So what does this mean for the final boss of the game? Well, simply put, Super Sonic will not be enough. This is exactly how Sonic Frontiers has changed Super Sonic forever. Not long ago, this form was seen as the ultimate form for Sonic. If there was a boss that he was unable to beat on his very own, he would summon the power of the seven Chaos Emeralds and then defeat them. But here, it won't do the job. I would even go further to say that not just Super Sonic has been changed, but even the character himself, Sonic, has. Because, for once, he isn't strong enough. For what feels like the first time in his entire life, Sonic is actually unprepared for the enemy in front of him. And the only way he can prove successful is if he taps into a form unknown to him. 
Now, of course, there have been instances where Sonic has lost to other opponents before, but he's always bounced back just getting a little bit stronger, never really exceeding the expectations. Here with Sonic Frontiers, not only is the super form an essential part of the narrative in the game, but it's not going to be the last thing Sonic needs to do. Super Sonic has been changed forever because this time, it won't be enough. But yeah, no, Super Sonic is looking to be pretty insane in Sonic Frontiers, and I'm really looking forward to playing as him and trying to see just how different he's going to be from previous iterations. Obviously, he'll have a new string of combat, and I can't wait to see what that looks like. But I also want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Do you believe that this form will be changing forever, or do you think it'll just stay the exact same way it is? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on the video if you enjoyed it, because I would really appreciate it and it goes a super long way. Anyway, now's the great time as any shout out my legendary channel members. Thank you all so very much for supporting me and my channel and creating the best possible content that I can create. Videos like these and many more would not be possible without you and I praise the Lord for y'all every single day. If you want to become a member of my channel, there'll be a link in the description down below. But if you want to support through other means, I have a merch store. And you guys can also get all sorts of swag, whether it be hoodies, hats, t-shirts, you name it, we got it. The link will be in the description for that as well. But anyway, thank you all again so much for watching. This is Sonic and Out. Have a super blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?